YouTube, welcome in to the 3.8 special program. We're going to be watching it together. Say hello to the Twitch chat. Also, before we get into it, 20 seconds to explain this. For the Twitch chat here and for the YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, you are going to want to come follow the Twitch channel because when 4.0 comes out, we are going to be giving away at least one guaranteed well not for 4.0 but when the when the actual hydro archon is out we're going to be given at least one guaranteed hydro archon away at least one probably a few make sure you follow the twitch probably long, a few. long ago there was a place Alice. in the desert called bottle land hmm I you it. wanted to learn more about bottle land i knew it i left that place long ago but i still clearly remember its beautiful sights even to this day Whenever travelers ask me how to travel to Bottle Land, I warn them that the desert is a very dangerous place. Nice. Despite the risks, there will always be enthusiastic newcomers who venture into the desert. Ha <laughs> ha! The treasures of Bottle Land are as good as mine! They're mine. I'm sorry, Mom. I shouldn't have played with magic like that. Oh. Now I can't find my way back home. The desert entices Cute. people with hope, but it devours that hope from the moment they step foot within its scorching domain. But that magic bottle can bring forth an endless and refreshing spring, revitalizing the hopes that had shriveled in the arid desert. Ooh. My dear weary traveler, why do you wish to enter the desert? Are you so determined to find Bottle Land? All right. I will help you then. I love Kokobi. One of my faves did. Ooh, trailer time! She's so solid and tough, but also clear and open. Oh my god, like flickering ice. kind. Is that why she's able to dance anytime and anywhere she wishes? Ooh, I like this rendition. Holy. Clean, quick, get in the light. Come on. Oh my god, a little curly witch skin! No shot, that's so cute! Kaya can be the faster tree. Oh my Mr. god, Kaya's skin! Oh my god! Good night! Oh my god, Kaya's skin! That looks so As good! The caretaker and your mascot, I shall announce your respective adventure duty. Wait, both of these skins look so good! <laughs> Let's go! They both look so good, dude! Yo, this looks so clean. Look at that huge tank. <laughs> Do any of you have experience being on stage? Once the stage lights turn on, everyone's attention is focused on. Uh, I can't stand that feeling. Oh my god. He looks so good. Mommy is busy these days and can't take you out to play. But there's good news. I have a friend who has very kindly invited Dory. you to visit her. Wait. Oh my god, are we going to get to be a, a, a member of the Hexen Circle? Oh my god. Wait. Dude. Oh my god. I've got, I've got goosebumps. Chat, we might actually get to meet a member of the Hexen Circle. Or it could just be talking about Kole, true. But I don't think she called Kole a friend. D Chat, the Kaya skin. Oh my God, what are we thinking about the Kaya skin, dude? Wow, dude, the Klee skin as well. The Klee skin looks so good. So my thoughts about this before the live stream was that it's going to be like a Golden Apple Archipelago style event, which it kind of looks like it... it Still could be, but not as much as just a Sumeru event with a lot of characters. But I thought that the Bottle Land thing would be Dory selling us the bottle to go there because she has very close ties with Alice. So if I'm right, I'm right. That's got a pog, dude. That's got a pog. 
but that that Klee skin is so cute. I didn't expect a Klee witch skin, but the Kaya skin looks like a Kamriya outfit. Nah, it looks like a Sumeru outfit to me, but it looks base, dude. It looks so Hello, good. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 3.8 special program. Hello. <laughs> Let me know if the volume's good. <laughs> I'm your host, Zach Aguilar, the voice of Ether. And as always, I'm joined by some very special guests today. Hell yeah. Hello, everybody. I'm Poonam Basu, and I voice Spark Knight Klee of the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh. Hello, everyone. I am Risa May, the voice of Watatsumi Island's Divine Priestess. The Priest voice of range. Sangonomiya Kokomi. Woo, yay. Wow, yes. so relaxing and elegant. <laughs> and I am Susie Young, the voice of the captain of the reconnaissance company and the spindrift knight, Eula. Vengeance will be mine. It's been a while. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. Welcome back. <laughs> Mark <Yeah>. my words. <laughs> I will. Uh, I'm super <laughs> excited to have you all on the program today. And I believe this is the first time we've had Risa and Susie with us. <gasps> oh my gosh, yay! Hell yeah. I get to be mini Eula. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. I've always wanted to be on a special program. Oh my gosh, yay. Yeah, the Eula chibi looks cute. I'm so happy, yay! Well, I'm glad to have you both here this time. Uh, we have an interesting format for today's special program. We'll be taking on some acting roles as we explore a mysterious ancient desert nation known as Bottle Land. Okay, <laughs> interesting. And in this process, we'll be revealing upcoming content for the new version. Please note that these special roles are not the characters we play in Genshin Impact, but just for the setting of our story today. Oh, that sounds so interesting. Huh. So, what are everybody's roles? I'll be playing a treasure-seeking adventurer in the desert. Mm. Oh. I'm a little mage who left Bottle Land. So fitting. True. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what I'll be? A knight from Bottle Land. Perfect. <laughs> and I'll be a guy Yo, from Bottle Land. Imagine Eula with knight armor. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, wait a second. How come I'm the only one not from Bottle Land? True. Outlander, your journey ends here. No! <laughs> uh, you're not invited. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I guess I'm just kidding, Zach. It's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> that sounded kind of accurate. this fairy tale game has a game master. Let's welcome... Hey everyone, I'm Rachel Kimsey, and I'm the voice of Mage Alice. I'll be telling the fairy tale with you. Oh my god! Now, let's begin exploring the first act of our story, The Little Mage's Magic. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, uh, wait, so are, are we starting already? Yep. Holy let's shit. Let's see what the fairy tale will reveal first. And action. Wait, this is sick. <laughs> oh, dude, I'd love the to be able to see Alice. The exact location of Bottleland can't be found on any map. Its very existence can be difficult to prove. But I know of a mage who once used her magic powers to leave Bottle Land. Huh. Okay. The little mage was practicing her magic as the grand mage had instructed. As usual, she started slacking off during her practice. Okay. She already knew the grand mage's magic tomes from cover to cover, and she stumbled on some strange incantations in the newer books. Teleportation magic? Oh, I want to visit every kingdom that I've read about in the storybook! The little mage was very brave and confident, so she was not afraid of venturing out on her own. Oh. In fact, she believed that the bad guys were the ones who should be afraid of her. I mean, she's not wrong. After taking a few moments to compose herself, she began to recite the new magic spells she had just learned. Nice. The God of Fortune was evidently looking after her. Without even knowing her destination, Ooh, the, the little bottle land mage left her home. Wow, it really worked! Amazing! <laughs> the little mage seemed like a child in a candy shop with an endless amount of mora in her pocket. She was excited to try all the different incantations she found, as if they were different flavors of candy. Bum, bum, Incantation <laughs> magic? When spring water drops down pure and clear, into the future one may peer. Oh, this is just what I need. Aww. The little mage simply believed that these were miracles that were foretold in the prophecy. All right, let's look at what the bottle foresees. Show me what we'll find in this adventure. Yeah, look at the bottle, oh, dude. It looks like the info on the upcoming event wishes has appeared. Wow! 
There she is. In the first part of version 3.8, Klee and Eula will be returning with their own event wishes. Who's oh, going to be the other I'm five so star then? I'm so happy that Klee's back, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's been 84 years. And now I'm back with a vengeance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Hey, nice. Aware. Uh, okay, well, besides us, who else can we expect for the next part? Coco well, and... looks like for the next part of version 3.8... We'll have returning event wishes for Sangonomiya Kokomi Wanderer. and the Wanderer. Okay! Yay! Good, yeah! good, good, good. good banners! <laughs> this will be the perfect chance to hang out with some old friends. Ooh, good okay, banners. speaking of hangouts... It had to be a Subaru Kaya character. Kaya will get his <gasps> very own hangout event in version 3.8. Woof, woof, woof! Nice. <laughs> nice. I love Kaya. These hangout events are great for getting to know more about a character. Kaya definitely has always been quite the mysterious guy, so mm -hmm. I'm super curious as to what we'll get to learn about him. Yes! <laughs> oh, look, the bottle is still changing. <gasps> oh my god, I can't wait. Oh my god, his skin. Dude, show us. It looks so clean, dude. It's definitely super themed. Sneak off on an adventure. Okay. Nobody else can know. I'm down. Dude, that's so sick. Both skins Ooh, look whoa. so good. Oh my gosh, Wait this is amazing. Cool. Klee and Kaya are both getting new outfits. Oh, oh, no way. This is so awesome. Wow. Klee's outfit actually makes her look like a little maid. Oh, she's, she's, so she's so cute. She's so adorable. I am she's so like excited, y'all. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Totally. Oh, guys, and look at Kaya. Kaya's outfit mm. seems to be slaying. So amazing. Dude, I love his vision this. looks love so this Kaya. Hard. Hey, <laughs> wait. Y'all, I bet the styles of these outfits are somehow related to version 3.8's main event story. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm a little bit curious about what kind of events. Kaya's might be my favorite. Yeah, look yeah, at the peacock feather right? looking you know stuff. Before Jack. we get to that, why don't we take a quick break and grab our second redemption mm. code? Yes. Okay, let's do yeah. it. Sweet, totally. My God, dude, it looks so good. The long braid, everything about the outfit just screams, I need it. I hope, so I hope Cleese is the one that we have to buy and Caius is the one that we get for free. I assume that's how it's going to be. Since it's usually the, the five-star character skin that we have to buy and then the four-star that we'll get for free. Dude, that skin for Kaya for free would be insane. Jesus. Oh, so nice, dude. There's a redemption code yet. Yeah, the black nails as well. This is going very quick. This has me a bit worried. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's going very quick. It's only been like 13 minutes, dude. This should be like over... We shouldn't even be halfway in yet, usually. I don't think. Unless I'm silly and misremembering. Uh, very happy about the skins, though. Very happy. Uh, yeah, perhaps they've got some stuff to say. First of all, for the 1,000 days of Genshin. By the way, YouTube, it's been 1,000 days since Genshin released today. Welcome back to the version 3.8 special program. Hell yeah. We'll be continuing our story about exploring the mysterious and ancient place known as Bottle Land. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our last clues came from the Little Mage, but I don't have any more story to share for now. Oh. Hmm. Well, uh, I guess I have something here. It looks like the knight and the guide will be reunited in Bottle Land. Oh. <laughs> okay, then. Kokobi and... Shall we continue our performance? Shen uh, Eula, <laughs> shut up. Welcome back, everyone. Let's continue our story. Oh, here in Act 2. Here in Alice's Legend voice. Legend of the Magic Bottle. Just so, like, nonchalantly is so insane to me. Of course. There were travelers who found and entered Bottle Land. Though most travelers chose to remain there, there were also some who decided to return to their homelands. Mm. But their accounts of Bottle Land were all very different. If you ask me, it's been too long since I've left that place. Dude. Ahem. Shouldn't we call it the Valerium Mirage? Was that Star Rail tickets? <laughs> Welcome back, dear knight. What? We're in Bottle Land! Yay! 
<laughs> yep, 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 yep. And we found lots of information to share with everybody, so strap in. You're yep. a free Layla. So first of all, we have our main event for version 3.8. Okay. Which won't be on an island like usual. <laughs> Instead, it takes place inside a bottle located somewhere in the desert. Yeah. There will be many items called Dryer Vouchers, which are scattered throughout the areas. Ooh. Travelers will be able to collect them to obtain some rewards. Yep. It's just like Including Golden Apple. Nice. Oh. Kaya's new outfit. I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> I need to get that. Oh, oh right. Yes. <laughs> well, since it's the desert, I think it's safe to assume that we'll be seeing a variety of terrain, you think? Yeah. Uh, I hope the vouchers won't be hidden in some extremely hard to reach places. Oh, they will. <laughs> oh, it might be. I know, right? Uh, Just but like there's no golden need to apple. Because the travelers are going to have some tools to assist them in their search. Ooh. So, for example, right? We can use these crystals to help us locate vouchers more oh. easily. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And in addition to collecting vouchers, Bottleland also has many unique attractions. Ooh. Okay. Absolutely. So, first up, we have. The preprints. Hmm. The what? Well, there are P streaming prints. projectors scattered throughout the Valerian Mirage. It's said that if you place an object in the projector, then you can construct a corresponding item based on its original shape and the power of your imagination. Oh, preprints. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But there is a slight problem. Well, for now, it can only display certain two-dimensional objects called a preprint. Wait. Okay. Travelers can open the streaming projector to enter the world of the preprint and make some changes. Oh. But if we try to move straight through, we might encounter some obstacles. Ooh. Well, in that case, That's we'll need to leave sick. the preprint world and move some external objects to change the environment inside, <laughs> <laughs> which will then allow us to pass through. That sounds awesome. Sounds I kind of like that. Success. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to give it a try. Yeah, right? Well, in addition to the preprints, we'll also have a fun and new way to get around. You might even be able to call it a game mode. It's called the Choo Choo Cart. <gasps> Yeah, so with the Choo Choo Cart, travelers can go to Choo Choo Cart stations in various areas of the Valuria Mirage to ride Yo! the cart. Oh, oh my gosh. This has this to be so Fontaine cool. Travel I System. I love this. It's like a little baby uh -huh. amusement cart. Well, not really baby. It's going Surely, to be like, like a monorail. <laughs> it's going to be, dude. I can't for sure. <laughs> Steampunk, so, dude, that's so sick. The Choo Cart we just introduced were both open world game modes. But next, we have some event mini games. Oh, mini games. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. First up is the Spino Blaster. Ooh. So get ready for this, guys. The this what? Got a long name. So its technical name is the Crocomorph Vortex based Crocodilian Armored Heavy Naval Battleship Style Recreational Water Blasting Cannon. Oh, wow. Whoa. That's an epic name. <laughs> what? I think my head hurts. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you got through that. Me too. <laughs> Wait, well, cannon? apparently Yo, we're gonna get it's a big said that ship? the name ship is combat? an accurate reflection of its appearance and its underlying principles. Aww. Apparently, that's that's what it says. Okay. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> and it uses stored ammunition to fire hydro bullets. Cool. That's right. And as a note, because I know some of you will be concerned about this, the hydro bullets that it fires are safe and they're used for leisure purposes only. Yay. Okay, <laughs> so they're not hydro slimes. Yep. And once it's out of ammunition, it will take a certain amount of time to reload its supply. Okay. Absolutely. But if you need to, we can also manually reload it at the right opportunity. Hmm, noted. Mm -hmm. ah. So use the cannon to hit as many of the target balls as you can within the time limit to earn points. Yeah, there are also different types of target balls to aim at. These include Ordinormy, Tiny Vantage, Ruhaha, Overdrive, and Dual Charge Target Balls. I kind of like wow. that. Ruhaha. Ruhaha. <laughs> That's quite the list. <laughs> yeah, some, some fun names in there, huh? <laughs> uh, so a notable projectile is the Overdrive Ball. Oh. So travelers can break it to enter an enhanced state, during which you will gain infinite ammo. That's a big ball. Uh, also, I'll take it. yeah, right? So when your bullets hit the targets in this state, they will cause damage in a larger AOE. Travelers yeah. will definitely have a blast with this mechanic. So I see what you give did there, Sino. <laughs> uh, Let's shoot for the so stars. That's good. Love, it. Thank you. Love a good pun. <laughs> I'll be here all day. <laughs> 
So next up, we have Sojourns of the Barking Fox. What is that? Travelers will have to control the Barking Fox to reach the destination within the time limit. They'll also have to collect as many adventure coins as possible while moving the fox. What? So the coins are projections you can pass through? Oh, it looks so okay. great. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. So this mini game will contain sleet trust fruit, which can obstruct traveler sight. The hydro blade looking things look so sick, dude. Orbs, which emit disruption waves. But these disruption waves don't seem like they're dealing any real damage to us. No. Hmm. Yeah, thankfully not. <laughs> so these disruption waves, they won't be damaging the barking fox. Oh. They may just trigger a sensor that reduces the remaining time of the challenge as well as your score. Right. So our little barking fox buddy will be safe. Oh. Yay! Well, time <laughs> stuff. Now, guess what our next mini game is? Fighting combat? Du -du 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 -du. <laughs> it's called... Dance of Flashing Thought. Ooh. Never mind. Ooh, wow. <laughs> nice. That totally sounds like a game for Eula. <laughs> Wait, it is. <laughs> right? It, it sounds like a dancing event, but it's actually a combat mini game. It just happens to take place on a stage, and some of the game mechanics have been inspired by theater. I love the theater. Pretty Wait, fancy, what? Right? Mm -hmm. totally. Like what? So that sounds cool. Before starting, travelers will be able to adjust their party to fit the special features of the different stages. During the challenge, you can defeat opponents to accumulate honed will. And once you've gathered enough, you'll obtain honed focus effects. And that's what the light is. Go for it. Wow, they defeated all those monsters almost immediately. Yeah, right? Really cool, it right? It seems like the movement <laughs> speed can get destroyed. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, that's one of the buffs you can get. That's pretty epic. So <laughs> epic, I love this. It's a, it's yeah. a pretty yeah. event, but for combat, it. it's just you get a circle that insta-kills things. So finally, we have our last mini game. And the theme of this mini game is... The rum roll. Football? <laughs> Finches are the cutest. Wait, what is? Huh? Our last <laughs> is this mini like game is called and... Bing Bang oh, like Finch Ball. Amazing. So I've got a finch fact. I um, like this. It said that when some finches take flight, they'll press the tree branch down using their weight and slide down a short distance before using the rebound to accelerate. I like this little Aww. game. Even in real so life, it's cool. This cute little detail is one of the inspirations for Finch Ball. I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> shuffle ball. That's it. You're going to be launching a certain number of Finch Balls in order. Place as many Finch Balls as you can in high scoring zones and reach the set scores to complete the challenges. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of like yep. that. And you'll need to know the differences between the various zones. Hmm. So, if the finch ball stops inside the red zone, you will earn four points. Okay. If it stops within a yellow zone, you will earn two points. And if it lands within a blue zone, it will just be one point. Got it. Gotcha. Yeah. Interesting. So you're going to want to press the launch button at the right time to set the direction before entering the charging sequence. Release the button to launch the finch I don't know how they the make that multiplayer direction. chat, so, but... Uh, I know, it may sound simple, it. but you'll find that there's some finesse to getting it right. Okay. I doubt it. It'd be <laughs> funny to hit other people's things out of the way, balls, but... They also have some very special types. Mm. Oh. Sticky, Sticky finch, balls finch ball. And pretty finch balls. Oh, Silly belly that. finch balls. <laughs> Oh, look, the sticky finch ball is giving it a little hug. Oh, that's so cute. Stop it. It's adorable, isn't it? <laughs> so cute. Okay. I that can't wait to cute. see everyone try these mini games out in version 3.8. Oh, and I still have more news. In addition to our main in-game event, oh. we also have some info about <gasps> upcoming events outside the game. Hoya Fest 2023 is just around the corner. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> Starting in July, Hoyaverse will continuously bring you all sorts of exciting online and offline Hoya Fest events. Whether it's Hoya Fest exclusive merchandise, awesome offline events, and rewards both in and out of the game. Interesting. We are excited to see our travelers participate in these events. Travelers who would like to learn more about these events should follow Genshin Impact's official social media channels and keep an eye out for more related info in the future. Oh, heck yeah. That's Super cool. excited. Let's go. <laughs> I like that. Let's go. <laughs> also, Genshin Impact's third commemorative OST it, 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 album, it looked like a uh, mix between Fontaine outfit for Ether and Alice in Wonderland outfits for Paimon on the Mean. I know some travelers have been highly anticipating this one. Always. The album includes three discs by the Hoyo Mix team, 
which contained the original music of version 3.0 to version 3.8. Nice. This album nice. will include music from storyline videos and animations as well as version-specific events. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for this. Wait, so that means that it should include music from the Sub Zero's Festival and the RNR music, right? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I bet some travelers remember that event. The music was so good. Right? Nice. The music was <laughs> really good. Have it on repeat. The album will also feature music from the Wind Bloom Festival. Nice. By Lace Fest. And even the music from our version 3.8 Valyrium Mirage event. That's a. Let's check out a preview of the album. That's a big. Uh, music update, dude. Volume update. Oh, look at the Hexen Circle stuff. <gasps> dude. Damn. It wasn't just Nilu that was there, chat. It was, uh, did you not see the other characters? It had the, the Fox Boy from someone's story quest. I can't remember who it was, though. Was it, was it, was it Wanderer's story quest? Was it Wanderer's quest that, that... Not Fox Boy. I can't remember. Can't remember. That was pretty pog though. Yo, the Wanderer art go kind of hard, dude. Look at it. Oh my god. You was chilling with R and R. Oh, that's pretty cute. Okay, that can't be it though. We gotta get some Fontaine deets. We gotta get some absolutely juiced up Fontaine details, dude. I don't care what anyone says. It's gotta be. Why are you here? I mean, he's getting a banner. To be fair, the, the three characters that were on the banner were what? Klee, Eula, and Coco, but all from Monster or uh, Inazuma, right? There had to be a Sumeru character if the event's taking place in Sumeru, and I'm pretty sure Wonder is the one that's only had like one rerun uh, that got released a while ago. So it was, it was kind of, it was easy to call that it was going to be Wonder, right? For me, it was either Wonder or I was thinking in my head Tegnari, but it couldn't have been Tegnari because he's not limited. Um... So yeah, kind of had to be at that Welcome point. Welcome back, everyone. We've already introduced a bunch of exciting events, but do we have other updates for this version? Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on. We still have lots of content to introduce. Oh. Everything we've covered so far was related to the limited time map. We still have more surprises for you. Nice. Ah, right. Uh, let me see here. Uh, okay, this is my part. All right, More then. story quests, maybe? Let's begin the third act of our story. Adventurers, treasures. <laughs> Alice's voice is so good, dude. Where am I? What a strange place. Huh? Who are you two? <laughs> That's exactly what we'd like to ask you, mister. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's all right. I invited him here. Welcome to Bottle Land. This is Bottle Land? Apparently. Yes, that's right. <laughs> all right. Then where's the legendary treasure? It's right here on this map. If you find it, then it's yours. Wait, that's all there is to it? <laughs> really? Uh, okay then. Easy. Your free treasure, dude. I didn't expect I'd get the info so easily. <laughs> Let's see. The first event is called Shared Sight. In this event, travelers will assist a researcher who is collecting experimental data. What? We will need to use an item called the inscribed mirror to find and recover small animals in order to complete the experiment. Are we trapping Wait, animals what? in a mirror? Travelers may use the device linked to the inscribed mirror to view the environment from the animal's point of view. Mm. Wait, use that's... the information from what you can see to figure out their location and recover them. I like that. That the sounds cool. The second event is called Perilous Expedition. That sounds really cool. Travelers will need to help a Liyue adventurer study Sumeru's geography and hydrology. But despite its name, this will actually be a combat event. Cool! I love Hi. fighting combat! Me too! <laughs> <laughs> During the event, a new area will unlock for us to explore each day, and we'll need to fight our way through. Each exploration consists of three combat rounds. If the team compositions are varied enough, then a stackable buff will be activated. Each exploration has different challenges. This will be a great chance for players to test out different character combinations. I love that. Yeah, oh. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Our third I event don't understand is that. called Adventurers Trials Advanced. I can't the tell what it is. Exactly. The Mondstadt Adventurers Guild has prepared new challenges to help train rookie adventurers. In the sequential trials, you will need to pass three consecutive trial challenges in a single run. As for fortuitous trials, 
three trial challenges will be randomly generated after you enter the domain. Yo! There will be a variety of fun mini games, such as flying and collecting adventure coins while dodging attacks, kicking slimes into the goals, <laughs> and skillfully dodging various traps. Oh, oh I sick. Love okay, I kind of like these ones. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> that fun. But that's not all. Genius Invocation TCG will of also course. be receiving an update. Yes. Of course. <laughs> new character cards will be added, and a new game mode called the Forge Realms Temper Endless Swarm will be available in version 3.8. Nice. Different stages will feature special Candace, rules with Kazu? different buffs and a variety yeah, of opponents please. to battle against. Candace Defeat Heart goes these hard. opponents to increase your score. Okay, I get it. So, travelers will need to pit their well-constructed decks against endless waves of enemies for a set amount of rounds. Oi, Candace. The more enemies you defeat, the more points you earn. That's right. Yes. Jesus. Well, <laughs> that covers everything we have for version 3.8. Yay! Oh, I can't wait. So much Let's fighting. go. Yeah. <laughs> Love fighting. I love well, fighting. Who said that? Our story about the Bottleland expedition is finally drawing to a close. What? Wait, ready? Wait, 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 oh, but no. what about our little mage? She still hasn't returned since she left home, right? Yeah, there's, oh, there's gotta be a teaser. Yeah. There will be, there will be. Oh, it says here that the little mage saved the parched adventurer in the desert and the adventurer led her on a wonderful journey. Oh, okay. Oh, they cool. showed it last time right at the end of the, uh, well, the 2.8 one. tell me, did you enjoy this little story? Yeah, I liked yeah. it. It was fun. I liked stories. Uh, it was okay. Oh, what a tough crowd. <laughs> but it's all right. I have another little tale that I'll share once everyone has finished discussing their impressions from today. Yeah, well, okay. Looks like it's that time again. Okay, Alice. What did you all think about being on the special program today? <laughs> Dude, Alice is Anything based. Anything you're particularly looking forward to in version 3.8? Everything, That's honestly. Teaser. The skins. You could say that the Secret Summer Paradise event is a gift that Alice made for her daughter, Klee. And I hope everyone can enjoy the adorable adventure and enjoy all the fun updates in this version. Like the sticky oh. finch balls. I love them so much. Yes, cute. I know. I, I can't wait for all of it. It all seems like so much fun. Um, I think my favorite's got to be the new outfits. I mean, oh, same Coco <laughs> They are so cute. Oh, oh. The hat. I can't. I love them. I love them. You guys just listed some of my favorites, but I also like really just kicking slimes <gasps> and right. the fact that yes. we're all coming back. Oh my gosh. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. You just happy all to right. be here, dude. That's all we have for today's <laughs> special program. We hope to see everyone enjoying the new in game events. All right, sounds good. Bye. Alice. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. See you in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Alice, come on, show us the Fontaine stuff, please. Come on, now Alice. Then, let me tell you all a tale. It's a cute story. I hope it'll appear in your slumbering dreams tonight. Hmm. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh. In the Nation of Justice, oh there my is God. a little upstanding Melazine. She is considered to be one of the most Yo. diligent in her duties. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Kin. Holy shit! Look how hard she's working for justice in this nation, even today. Don't let this little Melazine's size fool you. What she lacks in size, oh she God. makes up for in her sense of justice. Bolstered by her convictions, she patrols Fleuve Sandra fearlessly by herself. If anyone suspicious appears, such as an unknown outlander, She's got the wings. She'll be sure to watch their every move. Oh my god! But before anything suspicious occurs, the just little Melazine will never Holy act without shit, authorization dude. and accuse an innocent person. Well, not usually, that is. It looks so. F oh my god! But if the upstanding outlander isn't careful and finds themselves caught up in some misunderstanding, then we can let the court decide their... <laughs> of course! Their fate! Let it play until the end, Hoivers! Come on, dude! Let it play until the end! Are you serious? Let the court decide their fate is what they were gonna say. Dude! Fontaine looks sick! Oh my god, it looks so pretty, dude. 
I, I, I expected it to be a lot more steampunk, but I like the fact that there's like an underground sewer area and the, dude, the, the overworld looks so modernized, but it looks like Atlantis. Holy shit, it looks so fucking pretty. And the underwater looks clean, dude. Oh, traveler, you want to dive into the sea?